Bozen is asking, do you think people like Subair from Alton News are partly responsible for inciting the kind of violence that led to the lynching of uh, Kanhaya in Udiapur today? So I'm going to give the background to this really quickly. So um, there has been a giant, huge controversy in India that has international implications regarding comments that were made about the Prophet Muhammad by a woman who is now a former spokesperson of the ruling party of India. And this whole controversy got kicked off because I actually have a copy of the tweet here. One of the co-founders of Alt, uh, Alt News, which is India's like most famous fact-checking website. Um, so he tweeted this. And in this clip, it was the clip of Nupur Sharma, the woman who made the remarks, making the remarks about the Prophet Muhammad. And then this is essentially him highlighting this news panel is what kicked off, I mean, so much stuff we can't even get into. We've, we've literally been covering it for three weeks. If you want to see what happened because of this, you can go check the rest of our, um, you know, catalog. So, Okay. Do you think he's partly responsible for inciting the kind of violence that led to the lynching of Kanhaya and Uyghur recently? So what is with well, this it, lynching? Read the tweet first. Well, the read lynching it. is referring to a, a Hindu man who was beheaded like just a few days ago for supporting Nupur Sharma's comments. But we're going to talk about that in full on the news this week. So make sure to tune into the news on in three days uh, because that's when we're going to like dive into this. But because I'm not going to talk about that killing now. Well, let's just talk about Zubair and did he incite or did he not incite? So now that we know the background, let's actually look at what he said and then we, we can decide. Is he responsible for the violence we have seen across India and across the world because of her statements? So he tweeted, Primetime debates in India have become a platform to encourage hate mongers to speak ill about other religions. At Times Now anchor Navika Kumar is encouraging a rabid communal hate monger and a BJP spokesperson to speak rubbish, which can incite riots. Shame on you, Vineet Jain Times, who I believe is like a producer or something. Um, Armin, in your opinion, does this tweet incite the riots and violence no. you've seen across I mean, India? I mean, the tweet is bad. The tweet is insane. Like, you see, this is a fact checker. This guy is supposed to be a fact checker, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, he's talking about people who are saying to him, how is this? I mean, this is not speaking. This is not hate mongers to, to speak speak ill about other religions. This is like what the religion itself says. Like, maybe fact check that. Like, everything she said about Muhammad is true according to Islam itself. So, but she did say it with the explicit intention to insult. Yeah, but she was she basically say saying, You were wrong. insulting Shiva. I can say something you don't like about your religion, like da 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 da. Okay, but she said, she said things with an insulting way that are factual claims about a religion. Yes. So she didn't say anything that was wrong. I mean, is like telling the truth hateful? I no, I'm just like, saying because, I... because of her explicit intention you could construe that as speaking ill while still being factual. Okay. But like, this is such a weird standard. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say neither him or her are responsible for, should be held responsible for riots or violence, neither of them. Okay. Because if you want to hold people responsible for inciting violence, just because they're talking, giving you their opinions about a certain religion, like, well, then, like, then me and, me and Susanna are, would be accused of that every week, then. Like, well, we are. Susanna, yeah, we are accused. Uh, yeah. In but legal like, proceedings. So we, cannot, so we cannot talk about the facts of a religion? Like, what the hell? Like, and, we, and we cannot communicate the fact that we don't like it? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, this is insane. Like, maybe hold the people who are actually doing the violence responsible. Exactly. Anyway, so I don't like this guy's tweet. I think the guy is not doing his fa fact checking properly, but even though I don't like his tweet, I don't think he's responsible for inciting violence. Like what the hell? Like, I mean, he's giving his opinion about something. This is not inciting violence. I mean, even though his opinions are crappy, but what do you think? Is this inciting violence? This, this is not inciting violence. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So 
this the fact that he posted this clip and then because he posted this clip it gained such mass international attention like that's just a domino effect um Ironically, he's saying, you know, encouraging a, a BJP spokesperson to speak such rubbish, which can incite riots. He said, which can incite riots. Like it ended up, ended up becoming very true because of him highlighting it. But he's not inciting in any way, shape, or form. I mean, actually, this is a good point because, like, you could he, now he's being held to the same standards and he should realize how stupid what he said was, right? Because if if she could be held responsible for inciting riots, then based on that standard, <laughs> based on that ridiculous standard, then you should be also accused of inciting riots as well. Okay, so I think like he should reflect like, oh my, okay, that doesn't make any sense because if I'm not a hypocrite, then I'm also responsible. <laughs> but I think neither of them are responsible. They're just they're just stupid. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, was this guy responsible for all of this going viral? Like, is this the guy that did this? Yeah, basically or... because of him, this went viral. And then he's been arrested, but we're going to talk about that on the news this week, too. So yeah, if you want news... to hear our full opinion diving into these things, tune into the news show, same time in three days. Um, because there is so much more to get into, and I have a lot of opinions about the whole Zubair versus Nupur Sharma thing. But, you know, that's my teaser for you guys to tune in on uh in three days. PK is saying, Armin, context matters. Muslims in India have been targeted for years. Everything to do with their identity is targeted. You have to look at the broader context and not just this singular issue. I mean, PK, I know. You, you know that we are well aware of this. Yeah, so I think even... PK is just trying to say Zubair is speaking to this broader environment. Okay, but then highlight that broader environment because this is not a good example of that. You know what I mean? Like, if she is responsible for creating that environment, She's doing it in by other ways, but not by this, not by pointing out that your religion is ridiculous. I mean, my criticism of her is that she shouldn't have said this as a politician because politicians should stay out of religion, right? But other than that, she didn't, what you're accusing her of, she has done this by other means. This is just t talking, telling, talking about Islam, you know, truthfully. She's doing Un it unfavorably, but factually true. <laughs> actually true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, but where's the, and also D is saying it's something interesting. Seeing D is saying this is, D is saying this, this highlights how embarrassed Muslims are with their scripture. Otherwise they would probably say that this is correct. And we're proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> but also something I could say about um, her um, when she got upset that somebody was talking um, offensively about Hinduism, is that the Hindu side doesn't even ha doesn't have any defense over like our side is not ridiculous, right? So when you tell them like, look, this is ridiculous in Hinduism, then don't th you know it's ridiculous. So your defense is like, well, you have ridiculous stuff too, okay? So it's not like. You know, you, uh, why, are you, why are you pointing out my ridiculous stuff in my religion? What about your... So, but it's, it's Shiva so almost burned down the whole world with his penis. What do you mean that's ridiculous? How dare you? <laughs> no, but yeah, that tells you a lot. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, there's a lot to get into, but I, I can't wait to talk about this on the new segment this week. It's going to be so good because there's so much... By the way, the other there. side as well, like... I saw Muslims who were like, oh, you're talking this about Muhammad and, you know, his flying horse and stuff or flying donkey or whatever, right? What about this in Hinduism? So, like, okay, so the Muslims also, like, you're like, we can't, we, there's no defense. This is ridiculous, okay? They, I think they know how ridiculous their religions, they both like know how ridiculous their religions are, you know? Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> that was a very good point she made. It's like, they have no defense over being ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay. By the way, I'm so Susanna. It's so amazing how much you are aware of these details of all the people involved and who did what and who started what. Like, I think, like among non-Indian people, you have to be one of the most informed people on the planet that is not an Indian 
and is aware of Indian politics and Indian news, I don't think like it's hard to compete with you at that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I kind of forget like all this stuff. My brain is just absorbed at this point. <laughs> uh, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.